So the shoe brand Sperry invited me to spend a weekend up in Maine, and I asked my good friend Mitch if he wanted to come. What's going on here? Oh, I'm just turning up the old, uh, the old pride here. You know, it's been a while since you had a bath. It's been through a lot. All right. A lot of hardship, trials, tribulations, that kind of thing, so that nature. Now we're listening. Mitch helped me build my creative office, and after that, we kind of drifted apart. We hadn't been on an adventure together in well over a year, so we were both excited to get back into it. Kenny Bunkport right away. I had delivered marinara sauce there back when that was my full-time job a few years ago. It's a fun town with great energy and character. Hey guys. <laughs> when we got there, there was a surprise bag from Sperry that was full of a bunch of cool stuff. The coolest part was that the shoes they sent to me to wear didn't show up before we left, and all they had were the shoes that John Legend used on his shoot with them. So now I own a couple of pairs of shoes that John Legend wore. So they put us up in the Yachtsman Hotel and Marina, a quaint little place with great amenities right outside of town. You're not, you're not wearing socks, are you? No, no and they even provide you with bikes to ride around on. These are bad. <laughs> these are the kind of socks you can wear with these kind of shoes. You're gonna wear them. <laughs> they <laughs> are. <laughs> these pairs are gonna work? The first thing on our itinerary was a little cocktail party when we first got there where we would meet all the other influencers. And just so you know, I didn't get paid to make this or anything. I just thought it would be a fun adventure to share. And Marina. Um, it is no small feat that you guys all are here uh, for the whole weekend under these circumstances. So thank you so much. We have a really awesome weekend planned for you guys. How you doing? Here, man. <laughs> something about ocean towns that gives me this feeling. A lust for the salt and the sun, for the escape. Everyone's on vacation and in a good mood, and it's just fun to be around. First night we rode our bikes to dinner. And we woke up a little foggy and got breakfast. Here at all day breakfast. <laughs> 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 
And the next thing on our itinerary was to spend some time at the Tides Beach Club where we could enjoy the beach and get some lunch. It was so much fun driving through all the back streets in the truck. Quaint cottages, people waving. It's a different pace in these kind of towns. Then we took a trolley to a place called Earth at Hidden Pond. We got a tour of the magical property before learning to make blueberry cocktails and then enjoying a beautiful dinner. They've got tons of cottages you can stay at, a big garden, bikes everywhere, and a treehouse spa. I've never been anywhere like it. <laughs> this is where a lot of the wedding photos take place. And then what I love over here, so like, like I said, I can't <laughs> <laughs> It's so hot. It's perfect for kids. Dining. Little, little, um, kids laughs are old. Kids laughs are old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a buzz, it's a buzz right tag. <laughs> so this I think is so cool. These are true tree down. Yeah. Lauren, what's your I poison? I got the, uh... Oh, oh you got my mezcal, Hidden Smoke? Yeah! Can't wait for that one. Like, literally, it's I already delicious. ordered one. <laughs> Pay attention, kids. How's it going that fast? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Beautiful. Mitch has helped me on a ton of different projects for brands over the years. He's also helped me build a bunch of different stuff and we've shared some great memories. And it was nice to get back into our groove, just like the old days. We've all got those certain best friends where that old feeling comes right back no matter how long it's been. Really? And after dinner, we went to another cool little bar and it was so much fun driving through the town at night. Because of the virus, there was far less people than usual, and I was just daydreaming about what this place would be like if it was running full steam. And later that night, a few of us watched the meteor shower on the back lawn behind our rooms. The kind of summer nights you never forget. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do and on the final morning, it was my turn for a photo shoot. So we drove the truck to a few spots Mitch and I had scouted and had a lot of fun doing it. Nice. I don't usually do any sort of modeling or anything, so this was kind of funny for me. This is uh, behind the scenes. Kyle? And we had all the quintessential meals before we left. So this is what I got for food. And currently Kyle is eating lemon-sized tacos. <laughs> Fresh seafood is some of my favorite stuff to eat. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Before we left, we checked out a few of the local stores. I love getting shirts from vacation towns. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. My favorite spot was this pottery store where I got a few bowls and lanterns for my cabin. Go. The kettle's nuts. Hey, wow. And we even stopped by a candle place to talk about a potential trout and coffee candle collab. Hi. Good, how are you? Are you Stacy? I am. Hi, Stacy. Hi. Um, Lauren, we're, we're, we did a project with Sperry. Oh, yeah. And before we knew it, the light was getting golden and it was time to head home. Kyle? Rolling. Give him a little dance. <laughs> As always, we made a couple pit stops along the way. All in all, it was a beautiful weekend. I had never really done any sort of influencer thing like this before, so it was a really fun experience. They treated us very well, and it was a true pleasure. It was great to fully reconnect with Mitch, to meet a lot of new people, and it was a refreshing escape from the hot Berkshire forests. Maybe it's because I didn't spend that much time there as a kid, and I've always been fascinated by it, but there's something about the ocean. Every time I leave, I can always feel it pulling me back. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you to Sperry, thank you to the Yachtsman, thank you to Earth. I'll have the links to all those in the description below. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. So it's been a while since I talked to you. I finally got some samples from my summer merch and I just wanted to show you a few of them. They, they look gorgeous. The stuff is so beautiful. There's some really cool items and they're only gonna be available for a little while longer. I also just did some new designs for August to celebrate August. It's my favorite month of the summer. They're all on the site. The hats are all on the site. A lot of you have been telling me you couldn't see the hats. Those should be up now. The whole merch site should be up and running smooth. And don't forget that if you want behind the scenes and a bunch of updates that you can't get anywhere else, you can sign up for my Patreon too. So without further ado, here's some of my favorite items from the summer merch. This is the, uh, the Golden Stripes blanket. It's just, I just love these colors so much. It's a fleece blanket, super comfy, cozy, a timeless classic for sure. This is one of the summer totes. This is the Rainbow Trout summer tote. I love this thing. I used it in Maine with John. We got it all dirty. We used it to carry stuff to the beach and all over the island. And this is the uh, Wild Rover Eco T-shirt, a beautiful T-shirt. Oh, here's Hooter. <laughs> really? Well, that's really good. This is the Rainbow Trout Tank. Love this one for summer days. It's white, so it's not super hot. The design looks really good. The Cozy Cabin Crew Neck. There's a couple different um, pieces of merch with this design on it, but I just really like the crew neck, especially in this green. The design came out so good. I love it. I love the little mayfly above the door. Got the striped socks. Love these. These are really cool. They got the mayfly on the back and the stripes all around. Ugh, dang it, nothing like a bug flying into your eye. But I got a couple different pairs of the socks on the website. Really nice classic summer ones with the red stripes and the green stripes. I've already showed you this, but the uh, Scooting Newt Adventure Towel. Love this thing, used it all the time in Maine. Used it every single day with my showers on the beach, whatnot. It's just a great towel. It dries super quick, it's really light. I, this is one of my favorite designs, and this is the tapestry. Love how this thing came out. It's gotta be my favorite tapestry. It's just one of a kind, completely made from scratch. This will be gone by fall and never made again. I mean, all these designs will be gone by fall and never made again, but I feel like if you really like trout and coffee, this is such a classic thing to have. And then this, I am blown away by. This is the uh, rainbow trout 
fleece blanket and it just looks unbelievable. The detail and the fish and the colors, the way they came out, they just, oh, they look so good. They're so cozy. John slept with uh, one of these fleece blankets in his tent and he can attest to how cozy they are. They truly are beautiful throws. So I know it takes a little extra time to show you each item individually and stuff, but I'd rather show it to you in person so you know what you're actually getting. And I tried, I put this at the end of the video so that if you don't want to watch this ad for my stuff, you don't have to. But this really is how I make my living. I mean, you guys buying the merch and supporting me on Patreon is what makes these videos possible. I almost forgot, but I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing some of Joyce's shorts right now. I've been, I've got a couple pairs and I just cycle them on and off. They are the most comfortable and the best summer shorts you could ever ask for. They dry super quick. You can go swimming in them, go for a run in them, go on adventures in them. They're ultimate. You make sure you check out Joyce's store to see what she's got going on in there because she's always updating it. <sighs> I'm at my childhood fort right now. Got the mountain right there in view and got the river right here. It's one of my favorite places on earth. But um, yeah, it's mid-August, feeling good. I'm dealing with a pretty big issue at my cabin. I've got updates on my Patreon about that. There's a lot of stressful behind the scenes things going on right now, but that's life, you know, and you gotta push through it. The, the hardships are what build character, they're what give you wisdom, so all you can do is keep your head up and keep chugging forward. But um, thank you guys for watching, thanks for tuning in, thank you for your comments, thank you for everything. You guys are amazing. Talk to you guys soon.